What about buying some time? Do a pinochet on Monroe and delay the extradition on health grounds? Shining Dawn might buy it, but quite certain my government wouldn't. We can't tell you what to do, of course. So we've nowhere to go. We must find the people doing this, or we're all finished. You're going with him? Yeah, right. Look at him. And does he seem dangerous to you? He'll look after you until we get back. I'll break this to you as gently as possible. You have absolutely no choice in this matter. We must identify the man you saw at the station. Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. Let's grab some coffee and see if we can find our bomber. This morning, the Prime Minister is expected to visit the site of the bomb blast and has already spoken of his deep outrage at the attack. Latest figures now put the death toll at 31, and the police have issued a phone number for those... I'm, uh, I'm worried about my cat. I can't remember if I left him any water. I'm sure you will have done. But if I didn't, he'll be thirsty. Cats are very inventive when it comes to getting what they need. OK. They're going to transfer us to Tam's house later. They may want you to speak to Monroe. Why? To ask him to appeal to his supporters to stop this madness. <laughs> you must be getting desperate. Backup teams are joining you at the Winchester estate. Bomb disposal unit will be disguised as the gas board. You're investigating a suspected leak. Good. OK, there are 90 flats in each tower, and we're assuming at this time of night there's around 200 people in each of them. Each of them? Um, yeah. And here's the bad news. There are five towers. Shelley, Keats, Wordsworth, Shakespeare and Blake. There's five? Correct. Emergency services, ETA, five minutes. Where do we start? we split up. Here's the disposal team. Let us sniff the dogs with them, please. Have a look in there. You two with me. Right. I'm on words with you. Take that one. There. OK, we're on it. Oh, it stinks in here. Probably rats. Or worse, it could be pigeons. It's my room 101, being trapped in a confined space with a bird. I always quite enjoyed it. Where are you? Keith, you... Shelley. It's clear. They must have put the explosives on the ground floor. There has to be one of these somewhere. Unless he was lying. He wasn't. We need to evacuate the whole estate. We've got 30 minutes left. There'll be chaos. If there's a bomb here, we need to find it and defuse it. Yes, Wordsworth, right. Start evacuating that block. The bomb this morning, was it the Muslims? Uh, yesterday, actually. No, it's uh, about a man that we have to extradite, but his people have other ideas. They're going to go on planting bombs unless you release him. That's right. Well, you can't stop him forever. I mean, another one's bound to go off soon. So we have to catch the people who are doing it. We are about to be enslaved by technology and genetic engineering. We matter only insofar as we consume. We are a stain on the planet, and we will destroy it. We'll release the bloke they want. We won't do that. Why? Because we don't do deals with terrorists. We are a stain on the planet, and we will destroy it. Destroy it! Along with all the species.
species that inhabit it unless humans are dramatically culled. Found it. They won't find the next one. Even if they do, I'll make sure they can't defuse it. It's defused. Yeah, okay, we're done here anyway. Harry wants us to pick up Ruth and Curtis. Appreciate the ride. I get the impression you're not a huge fan of your government. No comment, of course. And the rest of your team? Do you know how they call some of the crazies in the administration Balkans? Let's just say some of my boys have really pointy ears. I think the 101st day everyone should be saddling up to liberate Tehran and Damascus. That's an agenda well served by terrorist bombs. Right. Like the most powerful nation on Earth needs an excuse to kick some ass. We've got a mole. So. so you know Colin's been doing all that work with technology and clothing. We had an extra tracking device sewn into the lining of the jacket. A jacket? It's clever, right. Because I'm a suspect. I never thought you were a mole zaff, even when you were babbling on about doing a deal with them back there at the warehouse. Babbling? Yeah. Babbling. <laughs> This is your early morning wake-up call. Curtis has gone walkabout. Golf 6. Curtis is leaving the safe house. Stop him and send him back inside. Clip me around Alpha 3. The naughty professor's going nowhere. Professor Curtis! I'm going home. You need to come back, Don't sir. dragging me to some place where I might disappear without trace. I know what you people are capable of! Wait! It's okay. I'll take him back. You can't force me! You're up against the British state, Professor Curtis. Who do you think is going to win this particular battle? It's fine. Homo sapiens! in all its glory. Yes, we're a horrible blip in the process of natural selection. Hopefully, the spirit of Gaia will come down very hard on the swinish multitude. Listen. I had someone go and make sure the cat had water. It's fine. to ensure that there is sufficient explosive to blow the back off the entire building. These are the areas which will make evacuation difficult, and this is what will really hurt them. It's directly above the basement, so it should take the full force of the explosion. So how do you get a job in this place? Well, these days, you can just apply. Look at the website. Is that what you did? No, I was recruited. Most of my colleagues were. Is that because you've got a brain-shaped head?